sets. This is a full set, not just a single font. Oh, go with Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 please. Now, I'm a, a former accountant, so my design, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm a little challenged when it comes to coming up with a good color scheme or font set or design for that matter. So what about, um, and maybe you're going to get to this, but things like the header, that's always the thing that I'm frustrated with with yeah. themes. Like, can never change yeah. that image, or it's just really complicated to get sure. custom. So, and that's usually the first thing that anybody wants to touch, because yeah. uh, the header is always going to be somebody else's header. <laughs> so when we come in here to header, we have a number of different options. And this program allows something called a background image for the header, as well as a foreground image for the header. And there's some default photo stock things in here, but you can bring in your own files. So if you wanted to create something of a business site okay. uh, with a oh. look and feel of a group of people hanging out, you can do that. Is that over? Is that two images, or is that just one image? That's, so that's it's a layer. So there's a, okay, yeah, a, a layered image of the people on top and the background image on, oh the, on the back. When this ultimately kicks out in a theme, it flattens the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. And cool. you can resize those and things to scale them. Or I can resize them and reposition them. Um, so I can come in here using this particular I can resize, I can move them around. Oh, I don't even know. I can come up with a different background image. Now, again, this is from the default images uh, versus uh, versus anything that I might have on my hard drive as well. Which could include a logo. So I could, instead of people, I could bring in a, my company logo and put it on a background image. Um, I can do some things with the effects. You'll, you'll see in here some circles and some texture that's taking place in here. Some of it is the projector creating a bit of a texture, uh, but there's some panels that kind of looks like a, yeah. a vertical mm -hmm. screen, and then there's some circles. Those are effects. Cool. Called glares and textures. So I can do some things there that can kind of give the site a more unique look. Uh, even if you're using a standard picture that you've just taken with a digital camera, um, you can do some things to, uh, to shift it. We can uh, change the width that's of the whole site or the height of the header. That's what I is there anything you're <laughs> and, uh, I hope you have an affiliate link or something on your site. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I do, and I can actually get you a, I think it's a 5% discount. If, uh, afterwards, if you want, I'm not trying to pimp myself to make an affiliate to thing, but if you want the 5% discount, uh, email me and I'll send it to you. I post it up here, but I don't discount. Discount. I want to get the discount. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> the general uh, idea here is that uh, this is, uh, I don't work for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, I just really like the tool and share good tools with people. Um, so what did that do? That was a glow. Some of these on with a projector are a little harder right. to see, so it creates just a little bit of a glow <laughs> around the border area. Oh, around the border, at the outside of the border? Yeah, it kind of okay. overlaps just a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah, hard to see with the, see. Yeah. With the um, What else can we do? Wow. Those this is actually a new one. I, hadn't seen the, I just did an update before I came, so this is one that I hadn't seen before. Uh, so, um, one of the things about this particular program, they give free updates for a year after you get a license. Oh. When I first got it, they were in version like 0 0.8, and they're now in version 2.3 ish, and they go point, by the point ones up. They've been through a lot of updates. They only did WordPress when I first saw it. Uh, now they do Drupal, Joomla, uh, a number of different things. Uh, so, that's header customization. Let me. See if I can pull in. A, I used to have a presentation file close and handy. I'm trying to remember where I put it real quick. Up there. And you said this is supported on Mac also, right? Uh, this is supported on Mac as well, OS 10. Awesome. I was going to be really sad. <laughs> That's what you have parallels for. That's true. 
So you, so you find that there's a good selection of themes that are built into it that when you're trying to come up with ideas? There's a very good things. selection. Um, like I said, I'm challenged from a design perspective in general. But they're all, they're all different enough that it doesn't look like it's just variations on the same thing. And I'm a blogger, so I've got some weird pictures, and I'm going to apologize in case there's anything that's too strange for you. Yeah, that's my problem with thesis, is you know immediately that people are using thesis, because they oh, really? kind of look the same. So yeah. this seems to be more... So if I want to pull in an image, oh. that's Gollum in the background there. Oh. And, uh, oh, wow. Now, this is oh, this, this is great particular thing. picture, cool. this is a good example, too, of some of the challenges that you have to work out ahead of time. So this is designed to come up with a rectangular shape. Yeah. And I could resize this, however, this particular image is very square. Yeah. So you may need to do a little photo manipulation to get it set up and ready to go into a banner header. So that's as, as uh, different as that one <coughs> happens to get. Now if I, oh, no, I can't resize that one, because that one's just a little too odd. If I change the height to something very tall, it's going to better. Yeah. And but it does let you choose what's going to be. I can you slide up and down with I could go into this particular image separately through like us any photo yeah. Photoshop snag it is kind of my preference or fireworks, those are my two. But you can move that, yeah. yeah. I can yeah, that's that up. Right. Yeah. So I can focus. So I'm guessing if the picture's like narrow and like or this is too wide that you can move around. Right. So direction. we need to so in general this particular Yeah. We can so if it's if it's a wide theme, so this is a thousand pixels across. Um and it's a uh, 300 tall. If we create a file or a photo image that's a thousand wide and 300 pixels tall, it would fit in perfectly. Okay. If it's smaller, we could actually resize it okay. to fit in there in a number of different ways. And, uh, this would be a very this is 600 <laughs> pixels. This would be a very narrow uh, website. I mentioned uh, that there. Are <laughs> this is, uh, in here I can come in and I can specifically change the dimensions. Mm -hmm. This is one of the differences between the $50 version and the $130 version. You don't have this ability in the $50 version. You've got some standard default sizes, but, How hard is it to come in but I can uh, change the, the width to a 12 pixel size. This is the offset. This is how far it away from is on top of the screen. Can I ask another question? Sure. Is there, so is there a chance to modify the code before you export this all and upload it to your site? Or like, is there a code editor inside of the app, this application? There is not a code editor. This does spit out a complete theme. Okay. So but you can go back into it. You can go back into it. And there's a couple.